friends! It has been a while, but welcome back to my channel, and welcome to a tour of my Dungeons & Dragons notebook. Before we get started, I'm just going to let you guys know the products that I'm using for this. The binder is a planner binder, A5 size, from Michaels, and the printable sheets you'll see in here are the printable character journal by rnw.net, as well as the printable modular character sheets from Penflower Inc. I'm going to leave the links to both of those in the description box. They are fantastic products. Not gifted or sponsored, I just genuinely love them so much and they are so helpful. So my Dungeons & Dragons character is named Lola Quickdoddle. She is a level 12 forest gnome unity domain cleric. If that sounds like a lot, it's okay. I'll try to go over the basics as best I can. This is the first main spread of Lola's character journal, and it's super important because it's her main stats. Her speed, her initiative, death saves, although you hope you don't have to use that section too much, as well as all of her racial and class features. For Dungeons & Dragons, there's a lot of things to track, so I wanted to make it super cute, but also really functional. So I have this little piece in the middle that sticks out with a little tab of patterned paper, and it gives me space on the back if I need to add more traits as she levels up to higher levels. On this other side, I have all of her skills. As a cleric, she has some skills. As a uh, charlatan background, she has some skills, as well as her main ability scores. This is a really great way to keep all of the numbers I need to look at in one clear and easy place. I play online, so our group uses D&D Beyond, but sometimes it's nice to just be able to look at a notebook rather than having to look at your computer the whole time. Makes it feel a little bit more immersive. This is kind of Lola's bio page about Lola. So on the left side, I have her personality traits, bonds, ideals, and flaws, as well as a picture of the party. We had this commissioned by our DM for Christmas this past year. It's super cute. I will leave the artist's name and info in the description below. It's a fantastic piece and I love it. On the right is a picture I drew of Lola to kind of draw her in my own style, as well as a few main notes from her backstory, things that happened to her before the campaign, as well as things that have happened to her during the campaign. I made sure to personalize it with some extra pieces of scrapbook paper, as well as some of the printable stickers that come with the modular character sheets. This is the page for Lola's items and equipment, so I keep track of her money, of the things she picks up along the way of her adventures, Definitely another very helpful spread. I always forget what's in the different explorers packs So I have it written down what she has in her burglars pack because sometimes I forget I have a crowbar and you never know when a crowbar is gonna come in handy Continuing on here. I have a page for all of Lola's magic items. Lola is a hoarder She used to be a rogue so she loves herself some magic items So I have all of the magic items listed on these two pages. I had to print out two sheets from the printable character journal to get all of the magic items in one place because she just has, she has got a lot going on, but it's okay. We keep track of it all and that's the important thing. Here I have a page for any potions or scrolls that she picks up. She doesn't have any right now, but this is the page where I keep her spell components. So as a cleric, Lola has a lot of different spells that require certain special things like a crystal ball or a glass eye or different kinds of herbs. So this helps me track what I have and how many of them I have, just so I know next time we go shopping if I need to pick up any diamonds to cast Revivify in case any of our party members go down. This is the page for Lola's spellbook. So as a cleric, I prepare spells. So on here, I just have some of the spells that I most commonly will prepare. Um, and this page also flips out very similarly to the one with her abilities from earlier in the journal. It's just really nice to be able to kind of keep all of her spells in one area. I like to change out the spells depending on if I think we're going to be doing exploring or a lot of roleplay stuff, so it really helps me to know what my options are. This page is just blank because Lola doesn't have 7th level spells yet, so eventually those will be on there. And this is probably the sheet that I've used the most since finishing this notebook. It is my combat reference. I can never remember all the different things I can do in combat. So on this page on the left, I have some of the items from the modular character sheets that outline the different attacks that I have and the different numbers and abilities. And on the right, I've drawn out her combat reference, which is actions, bonus actions, and reactions. 
And the last page in the first section here is my animal companions. So Lola has two companions. She has a mount who is a mastiff named Charlie, and then she has her familiar, which is usually in the form of an owl. Uh, her name is Foxglove. So I have all of their stats here, so I can super easily go in and make sure that I know what their speed is and what their modifiers are. Very, very helpful rather than having to Google it every time. From here, uh, we're going to move into the second section, which is kind of just more general notes that don't really fit into a character sheet kind of situation. So this divider just came with the planner binder. And then in here, I've got a bunch of various lists. So there's a list of all the different spell components and how much they cost for the different spells. I have a page to reference some magic jelly beans that I got a while back on an adventure, so that reminds me of what each of the jelly beans does. And then I've got this page here where I'm just kind of writing down information on different quests and information that I need to keep track of, the organization that our party is working for, as well as two of the main villainous organizations we're against, people that are associated with them. It's very helpful to keep track, especially in a homebrew campaign like ours, where we have a lot of different villains that are moving around a lot, so it's nice to keep track of who is working with who. And then this is the last section, which is my session notes. I love taking session notes. Uh, I am one of the two designated note takers of the campaign, so I take my job very seriously. But I also like to write down some fun quotes and little memories from the sessions. I tend to put any illustrations or quotes in a lighter marker color, so they kind of blend into the background a little bit more. So I'll write down things that NPCs tell us, important information, theories, things that I want to remember to do. It's pretty well organized. After two years, I have a pretty good note-taking system that works really well for me, and I just really love taking handwritten notes. I also sometimes will do like in-character notes, so any of these uh, craft-colored pages are things that I've written in character as Lola. It's kind of hard sometimes to remember what Lola knows versus what I know, so this is really helpful to remember things that maybe aren't super plot relevant, but are really fun. And also, you know, to track any questions I want to ask my god, because there's some important questions. <laughs> And just continuing through my session notes, there's lots of doodles, there's lots of sketches, there's lots of in-character things um, to help me focus during sessions. That's why I like being a note taker because it really helps me concentrate. Uh, on that side, I just wrote down some spells that I wanted to prepare going into this certain like evil temple we had to go into. And that was really helpful because then that day I could go back and be like, oh yeah, I think I should probably prepare these things. It helps the rest of the party too, and it's also fun to just look back on like all the crazy things that have happened to us during the adventure, all of the interesting things, and then it's really cool when you can go back in your notes and like crack open a theory like, oh my gosh, these things are all connected and I didn't realize it but I wrote it all down. In this area, I also have a couple of sketches that I did on my iPad during a session. Sometimes I'll sketch in Procreate when we're playing, so I have a couple drawings there another in-character entry with a shopping list taped in. I like the idea of taping things in so it looks very like scrapbook style. If you're familiar with my channel at all, you know that I love to scrapbook, so I really wanted to bring that into my D&D notebook and make it that really fun mix of functional and super pretty to look at because I love a good aesthetic. And the nice thing about using a binder rather than necessarily using a notebook is that I can change and adjust. I can end up picking up little card protectors if I want to do that in the future and have spell cards. It gives me the flexibility to use sticky notes and move pages around so I can really keep it customized for myself and for how the way that my play style changes and evolves. And at the end of the campaign, I can take the pages out and move them to a new home and then use the same notebook for whoever my next character ends up being majorly. So that is kind of the end here. I'm just showing a few of the things I have tucked into the pockets. 
If you have any questions about D&D or my D&D notebook, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm just showing off some D&D stickers I have in there that I got at a con. I would love to answer your questions, and if I get enough, maybe I could even do like a D&D Q&A about how I take notes and how I kind of make it even more creative for myself. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't, and make sure you follow me on Instagram. All the links are down in the description box below. Until next time, keep it magical, and I'll see you again very soon.